Hello and welcome to today's video. This video brings to you our new modular container home series, the Inbox Home Series. If you are looking for a way to extend the small living space of your existing house, then don't go away. This container module is the best solution with little or no interruption to your existing house. Stay tuned to find out more. Good, welcome back. The Inbox Home Series are modular homes designed by Shelter Mode using shipping containers. The designs use container modules in their pure form without any elaborate alterations or additions in order to make shipping container house designs accessible to everyone. In today's video, we explore our new Inbox 640i. Inbox 640i is a container module of an open plan living with a kitchen island designed using two 40-foot shipping containers. This module is ideal for a family planning to make an extension to the living space of an existing house. We will be covering more shipping container living module combinations with different kitchen configurations including a Pullman kitchen, a galley kitchen, an L-shaped kitchen, a U-shaped kitchen, and a peninsula kitchen. Stay tuned to catch up with these amazing kitchen design combinations in our coming videos. This video will highlight the design brief of the living space, 3D floor plans, full color pictures of the exterior and interior design with finishes options, and a cost estimate checklist to guide you with your own container house project. We post weekly videos of modern homes designed using shipping containers to suit any family size. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for our inspiring weekly videos on amazing design ideas and shipping container homes. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. This modular design uses two 40 foot shipping containers to create a 640 square feet inbox living module. This open plan living module is designed to accommodate the following salient features. From the entrance lobby, you can access the laundry room situated on the left hand side of the lobby. Right ahead, we have an open plan kitchen with an island for a breakfast table for three. We also have a dining table for six people and a spacious lounge. You are encouraged to adopt a minimalist interior design when furnishing this container living module. Adopt space saving furniture ideas to allow for multifunctional use of the space without littering the space with too much furniture. Use flat pack cabinets for the kitchen rather than custom units since they are versatile and they come in a range of sizes and colors. Flat packs will help you save on time and money. This container living module is fitted with two 3 meter wide full height folding glass doors to provide ventilation, adequate daylighting and physical access to the family terrace on one side of the module to kill the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container. The laundry and the kitchen are fitted with 1800 millimeter wide windows to ventilate and daylight the sink space. The interior of the living space is lined with an appropriate insulation material depending on the climate of the location where you want to build. Without insulation, the living space would be like an oven in summer and freezing in winter. Insulation is also essential to prevent condensation which can corrode the container and cause mold. Watch our previous presentation on 8 ways on how to insulate a shipping container house for more understanding. 
To finish off the interior, the walls are lined with plasterboard and given a light colored paint to make the interior space look brighter and bigger. Use a damp proof coarse underlay to cover the existing plywood floor, then finish it with laminate timber flooring. Ensure all the electrical and plumbing works are fitted out before lining the interior. Alternative interior finishes can be explored depending on the client's preference. Use similar materials to finish the wet areas of the container module to create a harmonious space. Before the container modules are delivered on site, it is advisable to have an appropriate foundation to accommodate your new modules. Use a raised foundation level to elevate the containers away from moisture. The elevated position of the container also provides the height necessary to construct a deck, depending on the choice of foundation used. A deck is a quick and an easy way to add extra living space to a rather limited space inside a shipping container. This design comes with a wooden deck almost the entire length on one side of the container module to provide the much needed outdoor retreat family space. The original cargo doors on one end of the container are used in an open position to create a Juliet balcony for some private outdoor seating to the lounge. This design series uses standardized optimal size windows and doors which do not require any specialized modification to the walls of the shipping container. The only exception would be on the interior walls of the shipping container modules which will be removed and reinforced further to create the open plan living space. One of the walls of the container modules is almost left solid without any fenestrations to allow for additional modules to be joined or added onto that side. Access to the additional modules is from the entrance lobby. So we've made it possible for you to access the additional modules that are going to be used in your future designs or in your future extension by providing an entrance lobby which gives you room to access those additional modules. To cover off the large walls on the container that are left bare, a mesh wire is welted onto the exterior to accommodate vines and climbers to introduce some greenery and shed to that side of the container. The basic design of Inbox 640i comes with a corrugated steel container exterior. If you are using a one-trip container, consider leaving the exterior as it is with its original color and markings to preserve its charm and history. This will also help you to save on cost of painting the exterior afresh. This design comes with additional timber modules to form the entrance porch, Juliet balcony enclosure and a timber fascia board to the roof. This is also a nice way of introducing character and aesthetic appeal to this container module. Other exterior finishes can be explored depending on the client's preference and also on the cost of the building. Every design of Inbox 640i home series is covered with the signature standard seam flat roof with a side extension to cover the outdoor family terrace. When setting out your foundation, remember to add some extra space to accommodate the deck or the terrace to your container modules. Other roof types can be used on this design include a gentle sloped corrugated roof cover and a planted living roof. The Inbox 640i home series comes with a cost estimate checklist. This is an itemized checklist to guide you on the things to consider when planning for your own shipping container project. The design inclusions in this list are the size of the house, 
the size of the deck added, the overall dimension of the house or the shipping container module, the number of rooms to be accommodated in this particular container module, the type and the number of shipping container modules used, the foundation type and the modification types to be done on your shipping containers, the type of insulation and temperature control strategies to be adopted with your container module, the type of exterior finishes, different interior finishes that can be explored, fittings and fixtures to be put in your shipping container module, staircases and balconies if there are any, and last but not least, the type of roofing to use on your shipping container module. The prices of the items in the list are subject to vary depending on your country, currency exchange rate, taxes, government regulations, and more importantly, individual tests and preferences. For correct and factual figures, consult the relevant expert in your country. If you like this design and you want to make an extension to the living room of your existing house, then feel free to visit our website and purchase the blueprints and give them to your builder or fabricate it yourself as a DIY project. The standard set of drawings come in DWG and PDF formats to suit your preference. The set of drawings includes dimension floor plans, elevation, a roof plan, foundation plan, and a section detail. For any revisions, design inquiries, and custom designs, contact us on our website sheltermode.com. What do you feel about our new shipping container module design? Do you have any questions? Feel free to ask by posting in the comments below. If you need further inspiration, visit our YouTube channel to check out our other container homes designs. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on shipping container homes. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.